Welcome back to Vegas Live. I'm Nina, on your host, and of course we're down here at the Pepper Mill, which is fabulous. This is one of the oldest establishments that's been here since 1972. They're still raving. They've still got the same look. They're absolutely fabulous. So don't forget to come down and visit and see what's going on down here. They get a lot of the movie stars and a lot of the you know prestigious people that are always, always in Vegas. And of course I have Lady Vegas with me, and of of, of 2017, right? Yes, ma'am. And then I also have Miss Las Vegas classic. Now, as you know, I've had a lot of, um, of these pageant um, representatives and pageant people that have won, and there's so many, I didn't realize there was that many pageants. I don't know if it's only in Vegas, but since I'm in Vegas, I've never seen so many. How are you? I'm good. I love your crown. <laughs> You know, I actually didn't know there was so many pageants either, and I didn't know that there were pageants for women over 30. So I'm lucky that I found out about the Miss so, Las Vegas Classic. So, so, and when did you find out about it? I found out about this about six months ago. Or so. Really? Yes. And you know, I, I, th I was just at one. I, actually, I was just a, um, I was just a, a judge at one of them, and also I was interviewing a lot of the all of the actually um, people that entered into this um, pageant and it was fascinating and I, I was fascinated by so many different people enter these pageants and, and they're not what they used to be because there's a lot of regular people out there that can actually join these pageants which I think is beautiful. You don't always have to be as skinny as skinny and as tall as tall as and <laughs> you know nothing done to you. So how do you feel about these pageants? Yeah, I think also it's a great idea for people to actually come after they've had family, children, and maybe they've had dreams of their own, or just it helps with you know self-esteem. Yeah, self-esteem. Feel better definitely. about yourself, regardless, you know, now, what age. Now you went in. Category. This young lady went into the over forty pageant. Now yes. I'm looking at her. Shocked me because she does not look over forty. You don't look forty, which Thank is you, you know Thank pretty you. cool. And, um, but it's also, you have an accent. Where are you originally from? Yes, I'm originally from Russia. You're in Russia? Even though I've been here for 20 years. Yes. In Las Vegas, I still have an accent. I go back and I speak Russian with my family, so, so you I keep always the accent. have an accent. Yeah, it's like I have to go back. I'm, I'm due to go back to England to reinstate my English accent. I'm losing it a little bit, so I've got to go back and reestablish. The my same thing happens to me when I speak with my Russian friends. Like, my daughter would tell me, like, oh, I can tell you're speaking with your Russian friends because my English gets worse. Worse. Yeah, there you go. Now, also, you have a bit of an accent. No? Do I? I'm originally from New York, so... New York. So you, she does have an accent. Yes, yeah, so I've lost a lot of it, though. Be yeah. I moved to California when I was 19, and then I started speaking more like a valley girl. <laughs> like a valley, but when a I valley do, girl. <laughs> but when I am in New York, I start talking like this a little bit more. Yeah, a little bit more. <laughs> there you go, that's the accent. But at least it's an American accent. I'm Hungarian and Italian, though, but I was born in America, but so I don't. Born. Yeah, I don't have. So, the do Hungarian you speak accent. Hungarian or do you speak Italian? Not yet. It's something I need to learn. <laughs> <laughs> Your mom and dad should have taught you when you were a baby, because when you're a child, you can learn better. I know. Now, what made you go into one of these pageants and, and to to sort of you know see what they're like and how why? You know, it's something that's new to me. One of my friends encouraged me to do this. Like I mentioned before, yes. I didn't know that someone my age could even be in a pageant. I'm 34. I thought pageants were just girls in their teens and like the little it's girls. Up to 25. And, and, yeah. yeah. So one of my friends encouraged me to do it, and then I was like, "What the hell? Let me just try it," you know. And then I've been in two pageants so far. I I competed in Miss United States in May, and I got third runner-up, and then I... Really? How beautiful. Yes, and oh then goodness. Ms. Las Vegas Classic, and I won, so that was really exciting for me. And now, when they call these names out, you know, they call the, the, the last, you know, the fourth one or fifth, whatever they call, you're still standing there, and all of you are still getting nervous by the minute, right? I mean, <laughs> yes. I, am I not going to be in it, or am I going to be second? Am I going to be third? Am I going to be first? So yeah. when they call your name out, when they call everybody else's name and you're, you are called out last, I believe, the winner, how did you feel when they, the, the, your name came out? I was so, I was honored, you know, I, w I felt really special that I won this, you know, I, I feel amazing that I can represent Las Vegas. So. And do you have to represent a lot of, do you go to a lot of functions and things? Yes. 
Yeah. The pageant just finished. It was like August 5th, so it's, I'm still like brand new to this. But yes, I have appearances for a whole year. Oh, so you, you just started this in August. Yes. Well, you should have got just a long won. road to go. And because I won this pageant, I actually get to move on to another pageant called Miss Earth. Okay. And I'll be representing Las Vegas in okay. that as well. Okay. Yes. And are they simultaneous? Are they together, those two pageants? Or are they're, they different? They're not together, but um, Miss Las Vegas Classic is more of a local pageant. Yeah. And um, Miss Earth goes to nationals and also international. Oh. So. Oh, we're going up the ladder, aren't we? Yes. Now, what about you? You're also, um, the, you know, as I asked her question, when your name is, you listen to all these names going out there and you're still standing there and you're still thinking, am I, am I, is it me, is it me? How did you feel when they called your name? I think when you're name? standing there, you don't actually even think about anything. You're just in a moment and you're just watching and enjoying just like everybody else. And you're just seeing, you know, what's coming up and what are they getting and the names they're being called. So I don't even think. It all kinds of rushes through, doesn't exactly, it? Exactly, exactly. And everything comes like so fast. So it's like, uh, I don't even think you think about anything at that particular moment. Uh, so for me, I mean, I mean, also it's new for me. Yes. Uh, and it's first time in my life actually that I've uh, actually decided to to be part of this pageant. Yes. I've actually wanted to sign up for another pageant, but apparently you have to be married to be part of that, and I'm not married, so I was like, damn, oh, I have like three married. months, I mean, three months before the next pageant. Gorgeous. I know, Do right? You want to like, get, get married? Well, I was going to be part of the pageant, so I'm like, well, I have to get married in three months, you know, just to be part of it. So I think, right? we, can, I think we, we can should. find someone out there that would really like to marry you. I mean, this yes, is a slender woman. the next woman. three months, right? Yes, in the next three months, that's going to be a fast and furious. <laughs> yes, fast and furious. And she's certainly not marrying for a green card, that's for sure. No, 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 I have a U.S. passport. You have a U.S. I'm all good. Yeah, guys, she's all okay. good. She's all good to go. Because I'm not um, a mail-in bride, okay? A <laughs> mail-in <laughs> bride. Well, then think of that because you're Russian. That's right. That's what And that's a big thing going that's on. That's a what big thing. Of, hey, what do you think of that? Well, I think it's uh, pretty cool that some people are that adventurous, you know? That they can I mean, it's perfect for Las Vegas. I mean, people gamble in casinos. Why not gamble you on know, a in your personal life? Exactly. <laughs> it's uh, like a Russian your... roulette. You never know yes. whether she's going to kill you. <laughs> Russian roulette. Oh yes, my God. Yeah, you that's... never know because she might kill you, right? And yes. yes, and have all that stuff, you know, sign up on her name. Yes. Right? Yes. Yeah, or. Or you she might could kill, be a good, oh, good you person. might kill him. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Or she might actually be a good person. Okay, there's always it's there's like a Russian You never know. You never well, you, you never, never know, know in life. You can cross the street and who knows what's going to exactly, happen. Exactly. I mean, exactly. You know, I came into the pepper mill um, uh, to do the show, and there was two gentlemen sitting here, and they happened to be in events and marketing and shows and all this stuff. So. You, you never know what's going to happen. Mm -hmm. You never close the door. Always have that door a little bit open. Nick, I understand that we've got a um, question. Yes. Um, they want to know how many more pageants you have, or how many more events you have coming up. If you have anything else coming up. In other words, um, you've won. Well. Um well, for me personally, I host events, so for me, I thought, hmm, if I get to be part of the pageant and then I get a title, it will help me with my events because I host them anyway. Yes. So I might as well take advantage of that. So uh, for me, I usually do once a month. Okay. So I do appearances and events once a month. Sometimes, like in August, I had three three events, and then I'm invited to more, and then I can't keep up anymore. Okay, now, do you so. get paid for these events? Do you get paid to... No. No, no you don't you get do paid not. for them. No, so, you don't. So you have to... This is all free work. A lot of Vegas in these uh, red carpets and things are, 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 are for free. Yes. You, nobody pays. I've never no. quite understood that yet, um, because normally when we do... Uh, I don't think so much as winning a competition, a pageant, that you would get paid because you have to make these appearances. So I understand that. But for a regular person, which is your regular job, yeah. you know, you hope to get paid. What about you? What have you got coming up? Um, it just depends. I kind of go with the flow. Um, Kimberly was the director of this pageant, yes. and when she messages me about events, she lets me know, and then I'll be making appearances. Um, can I am you choose them? I choose it all the time. You choose it all the time. <laughs> I do. You do. I have to. I have to be very selective. I have so many invitations all the time, and I can't, you know, it's Las Vegas. It's yes. always something. There's happening. always something going on in Vegas. Exactly. I mean, you know, exactly. being a single woman in like Vegas. Like you could be sleeping in, you know, in yeah, the sash be in a little tr because you know. You got to be ready. Morning, you got to <laughs> be there. Full you know? makeup on, full yes, everything. Yes, yes. You know, little rest period time, right? 
Yeah, yes. there's so many Some events. Like I am looking to do events that are related to animal rescues or um, anything with animals because I am vegan and that's something that I'm passionate about. So if I you like guys have a yeah, if you guys know of any events coming up, let me know and I'd be happy to be there. Absolutely, and I have to admire Houston. Houston, um, they actually had the people out there rescuing animals, and I believe there was a big story. There was like four or five horses, and the horses literally had to swim. Mm. I get a little ooh, <laughs> because they couldn't get out, and but they were rescued, and, yes, and it I was that amazing well. yep. to Houston of how many animals they rescued because they're kind of human beings as well. I mean, they mm -hmm. just can't talk and say, "Come and rescue me." I mean, they have to literally wait for someone, and then you saw the people with holding with blankets wrapped around their animals. Just touching, very touching, because we both are going to cry. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, great. Um, how can they reach you? My website is lizmonline.com. You can email me on the website wow. or find me on Facebook, Liz McClosey. It's M I K L O S I. Wonderful. Or Instagram, OG Liz M. And also, she. OG Organic okay. Girl, that's what it stands for, not okay. Original Gangster. Okay. <laughs> original Gangster. <laughs> it's Organic Girl. <laughs> and also Kimberly Knight. Don't forget, Kim by the way, Kimberly Knight, thank you so much for bringing them on. It's absolutely amazing because we always love to have, you know, the pretty ladies on. Pretty ladies <laughs> in Vegas, always amazing. And where can they reach you? Well, um, you can reach me on Facebook. It's Yelena Brezhnev. I'm a realtor, so I have my website through Sotheby's. So if you dial in, you know, Yelena Brezhnev, it will come up as a Sotheby's agent. Awesome. Or same thing on the Facebook, Yelena Brezhnev. Wonderful. They've been amazing. Um, congratulations to both of you. Thank you. Um, Thank you. Good luck. For have you Thank just you. started the year? For me, yeah, just started. So you both just started. Yeah, so so just started you've got a whole started. year of, of being out there yep. and face to face with the public and all the people. Well, I'm glad, you know, we'll be able to help you, give a little publicity for you and everything Thank else. You. We'll be Thank right you. back. Vegas Live with me now.